Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the GNU Headspace. This board features Mervin's C3 camber profile, which is a very mellow reverse hinge point between the feet into the camber section, then it comes down and it's flat in the tip and the tail. Basically, camber 2.0. So what this is going to do is give you the load, pop, snap, and drive of the snowboard with ease of entry in and out of the turns from that flat section in the tip and the tail. This board is available in 149, 152, 155, 158, and 155 wide. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day with warmer temps that had high winds at times. You had chopped chunder, soft snow, perfect hero corduroy snow, and even soupy snow at the bottom of the mountain. And I rode it with my Rome black label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. So the overall flex of this board is your standard run of the mill, middle of the road, all mountain freestyle or park flex that's a little bit more damp. Mervin boards are known for being a little bit more damp. So what you get is more flex in the tip and the tail through that flat section, then it stiffens up right where the camber starts to the middle where the torsional flex takes over and there's a little bit more so you can twist this board, but there's some rebound to it. When it comes to stability, as Mervin boards are known for being a little bit more damp, it absorbs chatter very well. You really don't feel too much underfoot. And when you take those bigger, harder body jarring hits, it absorbs those as well. Basically, this board just crushes through chop and chunder with relative ease for being a freestyle board. With this board being C3, which is basically camber 2.0, it's actually relatively easy to load up. And when you roll back on the tail, that flat section acts like a springboard. Now, the more power you put in, the more you're gonna get out of it. So if you're laid back, you're still gonna get in the air, but if you're really being aggressive, you're gonna be able to pop that side hit, that roller, that cat track gap, and not worry about it. When it comes to jumps, small, medium, large, it's got you covered. It handles them all with ease. And just like hitting a side hit, if you're laid back, the lip will throw you, but if you're being more aggressive, putting in more load, you're gonna be able to pop off that lip, get higher, go a little bit further on the jump. When it comes to the butterability of this board, you've got those flat sections from the C3. That makes an optimal sweet spot. It actually elongates the area that you could press into on the nose or the tail. So I found that it just locks into presses on the snow and you can get sideways, you can go up on the nose, you can go forward, backwards, spin around, do whatever you want. But then that camber section takes over and it gives you a little bit of snap out of it, which is nice because you can pop back around, do what you need to do. Basically this board's butterable if you know what you're doing, you never have to really worry about it fighting you. And the magnet traction isn't so aggressive that when you're sideways, you feel it hooking up. Now, when it comes to jibbing, you've got these ideal sweet spots, right? It's gonna lock into a press, that's fine. But a little speed goes a long way. It helps carry you through the feature and then you engage that center part of the camber and it pops off the feature. When you go sideways, that hinge point from that mellow reverse really cradles around the feature. This board locks in right around it. You feel secure, you never have to worry about it. You're gonna make it to the end, you're gonna be able to pop right back off and go into the next one with ease. This board is asymmetrical, which means it does have a deeper heel side side cut just to make up for our body's natural anatomy as we ride sideways. This really helps with the carving of this board. Now it's got a fluid and consistent edge to edge power transmission. And when you really wanna drive this board, it's got enough power that you can, or you can be laid back. What I find is really good with this board is just doing minimal ankle flexion so that you can steer it how you want. And when you get it up on the heel, you transition it over on the toe, you'll notice that. But when you wanna drive it and you're kicking your knee into the center of the board and really flexing it, you can lay this over both your toe and heel edge to the point like you could just have your arm behind you and be dragging your armpit if you really want to. This board lets you carve. It's got good snap out of the carve so you can pop back up, even though this isn't really what it's fully designed for being a freestyle board. So if you're one of those guys that likes to lay down a hard part carve or get weird with your carve butter variations, this thing's absolutely amazing. And like I said, that asymmetrical side cut really does help with the heel side hold and how deep you can lay the carve over. You're gonna notice that you're gonna be transitioning a lot smoother and there's just that fluidity that it comes with to let you pop in and out of the carves. Who's this board for? The well-rounded park rider that wants a deck that they can use for all mountain as well. So I'm not gonna lie, I just needed to update this review. It's been a couple years since the last time I wrote it. Nothing's really changed. This board's still consistent. You know what it's gonna do. It grips well, it pops well, it's playful where you need it to be. 
It crushes Chop and Chunder when you need it to for a park board. Overall, it's just fun to get on. The only thing that I felt was different was the tip shape looks a little more blunted and rounded out, but that might just be because I haven't ridden it in so long. I'm not sure. Maybe you know. Leave me a comment down below. Comparable boards, the Ride Bench Warmer, the Battalion Evil Twin, the Arbor Westmark Camber. Binding recommendations, the Bent Metal Action, the Rome Vice, the Union Strata. This has been my review of the GNU Headspace. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not going to miss any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.